I'll show you guys how to install a brake controller in a 99 to 07 GM platform. So Avalanche, Sierra, Silverado, Tahoe, they're all the same. Uh, what you need is, it's all, the truck is already pre-wired, but you need this plug that, that plugs into the fuse panel by your left foot up underneath the, uh, the dash there. Um, pretty straightforward uh, brake controller controls how much electric brakes goes to your trailer um, This one I just best thing to do is go to a wreckers and grab one nice and cheap You'll probably sell it to you for five bucks um, What uh, this one is is way too long It's actually long enough to let the passengers in the back control the brakes and you don't need that So we're just gonna trim this up a little bit make it so there's not a big amount of wires underneath the dash now the brake controller needs to see uh, positive power, like battery power fused. Um, so that would be your black wire. And it's confusing, but trailer brakes, the white is always ground. Don't get those two mixed up. Uh, red is your signal wire, so it needs to know when you're stepping on the brake pedal. And blue is your um, wire feeding the trailer brake, so it'll also be a heavier gauge. On our GM plug here it also says what each color does so the heavy blue is still the wire going out to the back the light blue is the signal wire so that actually connects to your heavy gauge red wire and then your red wire is actually positive so that goes to the black on the brake controller and then the uh, ground is actually a black wire for the truck which connects to your white wire. For anything outside the vehicle, I use these heat shrink butt connectors, which you crimp them and then you hit this with a torch and it'll shrink and make a nice seal. But underneath the dash, you can get away with just normal butt connectors. They're cheaper. And uh, like these things go for about a buck a piece if you buy them in a small packet. Um, these are much cheaper and since there's no moisture, it should be fine. It will be fine. So we're gonna trim these wires up and then plug it in. This brown wire is for illumination. You don't really have to worry about that. It doesn't really do anything. You just trim that back and tuck it in the uh, tuck it in the loom here. And that's a little neater. So the brake controller, generally you just mount it right here, tie it up nicely, put some split room around it if you want, and it plugs into this box right at the top there, and everything else is already done underneath. So. You, um, plug in the trailer and or grab this make sure that uh, the lights turn on and you're golden hey, hey thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe because you never know what you're going to see next week on DeBoss Garage if you like what you see there's a lot of stuff happening to help support the channel and remember if you're not filthy you're not rich